Hello, everybody, and welcome to the Sunrise Meets Podcast. I want to do something else. For 17. The intro. Well, you can write one. I wrote us a new in- outro, so you can write us a new oh, intro. You wrote us a new outro? Yeah, I sent you an email. I also sent you the email for the intro for the 20th episode when we get there. Oh, really? Yeah, it's, I wrote a script. Yeah. Okay, cool. Sweet. So, hopefully, everything works out. That is my turn that 8 off. 30 alarm. Turn it nice. off. Nice. Man, so, uh, have you ever wanted to, like, act or model? Have you ever thought about acting or modeling? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Why? I don't know. I think it's cool, but I think, um, and this isn't one of the reasons why I don't want to, like, put my face out there is uh-huh. one big thing big fucking thing people who even get do like simple commercials like think they're hot shit and yeah like they're on the way up you right know? yeah they're like man i did a fucking commercial man i'm on my way hey shut up kid you did a fucking commercial no ego mm-hmm. ego i don't want an inflated inflated ego yeah i don't want like and then like the attention that comes with it right you know okay yeah, so like the crazy amount of attention that can come with it when you're just walking out on the street or you're not, you know. Yeah. The the thing for me is that my ego has been built up and tore down so many times that even if people say we're like if like somebody saw me on the street and they recognized me either from the podcast or wherever, Hello, right? Louise. Shut up. Shut it. What the fuck is going Stop. on right now? How is this happening? <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, shut that bitch off. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna leave that in there. But um, what was I saying? Uh, no, like my ego's been torn torn down and built up so many times that like at this point it wouldn't matter if somebody recognized me on the streets or not. So in my opinion, I think that um, it'd just be an easy thing to do. And then so that's where that's where this is where I'm gonna transition the horrible transition. But uh, I signed up for a modeling and acting agency. Like to like go do what? yeah really? yeah I did and so um the name well, you know, yeah, should like, I can't wait to see should you I in expose, my hands underwear <laughs> should I ex- should I expose the company I don't think I no, will no, but um, just, I won't I won't but okay so can't wait to see you on my hands underwear package well no no listen I'm not <laughs> it didn't it didn't work out <laughs> so so um I signed up for it right I get a I get the I get the phone for the first phone call and. And they're like, hey, we have an audition at this time on this day. And I'm like, oof, I can't do that because it's at 6 o'clock. And I, I don't know what time I'm going to get off at work. I'm supposed to get off at like 6.30. But um, but then I was like, okay, they'll call me back. They'll put me on a callback list. And that's what they did. And then they eventually called me back. And they're like, hey, we have an audition at, I think it was Monday uh, at 1 o'clock. And I was like, okay, I'll be there. And so we did the audition. I was handed lines. Oh, let me read you the lines real quick. This is what they sent me to read. I had the hardest lines out of anybody in that in the whole audition. These are these were my lines. Once I get in my Audi A7, heads turn, eyebrows raise, and blood pumps. As I accelerate, excitement builds, and people begin to take notice. I smile and think, yeah, you wish. The Audi A7 is a luxury automobile. That was my script. Everybody else got like this simple-ass Nike script. Oreos or like a Wii Fit. And I'm like, what the fuck? You know? And there's like a a wide range of people there. There's like a there's like a tall Indian dude. He looks like Ruben, but he's like Indian. There's like a a a fat black guy there. There's a there's like, you know, just different people. There's a whole bunch of girls there. And so I'm like, okay. I'm like the best looking one, not to like feed into my ego, but I'm like the best looking one there at the audition. Plus I have the best camera because I'm using a phone inst- like as a webcam instead of my desktop cam or like the yeah. iPad cam that they're using. So I'm like, okay, cool. And I do the audition. I do my lines. I leave the the the, the Zoom room because it's over Zoom. And then they call me back and they're like, hey, uh, you made it to the second round. And I'm like, okay, great. And so I get on the Zoom, and they're talking me up about how there's going to be classes I'm going to be taking. There's going to oh, be gonna different be opportunities that you're going to be having, and it's going to be a 30-week course. It's going to be a two-hour class every uh, week for one day, and so on and so forth. And then what they don't tell you is that it costs money because the whole <laughs> time that they're talking to you is – they're saying, are you serious about this? Are you really ready to commit? Are you really ready to just full 
you know, full send and jump right into it. Full send. And, and I'm like, yeah, sure. Like, just as long as, you know, I don't have to pay anything. Now, mind you, before I signed up for this, I wasn't expecting it to be free, but I wasn't expecting it to be as expensive as I thought it was going to be. How much do you think it was going to cost for me to take these classes and join this agency? Probably like close to 300 bucks. No. No? No. Cheaper? Nope. Thousand dollars. Nope. More? Yeah. Twenty five hundred. No. Fifteen hundred. Lower. Fifteen hundred. Lower. Twelve hundred. You were close when you 1200. said a thousand. Twelve hundred. You were close when you said a thousand. Twelve hundred. No. Eleven hundred. No. How much? Two thousand dollars. I said that. Twenty five hundred. Oh, then yeah. <laughs> that. That <laughs> much. Yeah. I was like, what the fuck? What the hell? That's... And then, and then, like one of the pri- one of the other price options was, I think it was two. Let me see, I have it in my notes here. It's like two ninety five or some shit with, with, but that's just the registration fee. It's fucking dumb. It's, yeah. So it's like two hundred and nine bucks, two two hundred, uh, like three hundred bucks for the for the registration. Then you pay seventy one bucks a month to like be in their agency and like take the classes. What do I shit. need to pay you? Right. To... Yeah. To hire me. What the fuck? Yeah, and so um, with the like all the all in one package, which was the two uh, the twenty five hundred, that was with like unlimited photo shoots, like it's like the VIP package, and then the other package is like you only get three photo shoots, and with the three photo shoots, you don't even get the copyright to your own photos. Fuck that. You have to pay sixty bucks to the copyright to the, for the copyright to your own photos, and I'm like, bro, y'all are just scamming people out here, bro. And apparently, one of their success stories was um, me <laughs> <laughs> was uh, was like, there was a guy that played in Get Out. I forgot his name. He came from the company, the agency, and then there's this girl that uh, is gonna play the Kim Possible movie. She uh, also came from that agency. But I'm like, damn, y'all really paid like two thousand bucks to like. I mean, they're successful. Don't get me wrong, but like, damn, you know. Long story short, you guys can look forward to seeing Lewis on the casting couch. No, you're wrong. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm the one holding the camera. <laughs> Whatever, <laughs> you're, camera. you're on the couch. <laughs> anyway, but um, yeah, I just thought it was uh, suspiciously weird. I still have the email of all like the details and classes and shit. Like they were gonna they were gonna teach me how to like manage my social media and and like just do all that kind of stuff. And I'm just like, yeah, no, thank you. I'm good. The hell. That oh. is, yeah, it, threw me, it threw me off. In Neighbor. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> I thought I, I, I'm trying to remember what else I had to say, but I forgot. But I'm, yeah, that's my story. That's my uh, acting um, adventure sh- story. It was short-lived. <laughs> <laughs> it was very, very, very short-lived. Very short-lived. I don't think it, li- I don't think it ever got off the ground. Nope. Nope. Not really. It barely got a push. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe a little nudge. What's something you wish you could do different now in the past, but it won't affect your future. So like I could go back, I could go back, go back in, in time. time. I could go back in time right now mm-hmm. and change something, change something and nothing, but would change nothing would change my future. future. Yeah. So like consider, consider this to be uh, like the like, best. Ha- dude, I would change like so many things. <laughs> <laughs> dude, like I'd what? change like, I'm not Dude, saying I would take memes back. Yeah. Oh, I would, like I would take <laughs> memes back so that way I'm funnier. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so original. Dude, imagine yeah. how, how much internet money I would make. Yeah, you'd have to make an Instagram page. Oh, oh my god. And then you'd have to get verified. I, <laughs> or Twitter at least. Or something. Dude. What else? <sighs> not to make your future well, I mean, I guess that defeats the purpose of going back in time because you're not making your future any better. But that's why I said, like, if you could just change certain outcomes of your life, but they don't affect your future, what would, what would they be like? Was it like a messed up relationship? Was it like a messed up test? Was it like something that could have you had an opportunity that to do something that you didn't take because you were too scared or something like that? I wouldn't fuck up my military career. <laughs> oh, AJ. Yeah, that's, that's probably like the big pretty, thing. That's probably like a pretty big one. Yeah. I wouldn't have fucked up my military career. Well, I don't think you fucked it up. You can't. You can't go back. I definitely fucked that up. I oh. definitely fucked it up. Damn, they just blacklist you. They're just like, okay, he can't come back at all. No, 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 no. I can come back. I just, I need to, I need to go start over through the whole process oh. again. And it takes so long. Rip. Yeah. Yeah, I think the only thing that I would like to have changed was my subway job. 
I feel like if I could have just been there a little longer before I got the YMCA, and mind you now, I love the YMCA now, yeah. but if I just didn't, like, fuck up at the at the subway, that'd be just fantastic. Mm. <laughs> I feel like what I did to get suspended was really dumb, and that I wish that she didn't tell me that to do that because it was such a small <laughs> thing because all I did was turn off the open sign. And I was like, okay, well, I got suspended you for like two that weeks. Job, though, right? Yeah, that was fucking fun, dude. It was so yeah, fun. It was fucking fun, dude. Because because I didn't think of it because it was a sandwich shop. It's not a fast food restaurant. That's not what I'm thinking. Yeah. You know, because fast food, I think of like fryers and flipping patties and like you know burger shit. Yeah. Right. But I'm making sandwiches, and you get to see me make the sandwiches. It's fucking cool. I don't know if I told you, but this couple came in from Los Angeles to our subway shop. And they were here for like a body tape expo. What the fuck? Yeah, what? she's a model. And they were doing a body tape expo where they make bathing suits or like they cover up just the titty, like the nipple okay. with tape and yeah. shit like that. And it was like a photo shoot. And he's the camera guy for her. I think they were, I don't think they were a couple, I but I like think that was just a photography. I think that was just her, her like photographer. But yeah, I, they, they asked for everything on their sandwich i was like what the fuck where are you guys from because we don't even have this type of sandwich here he's like i don't have like the i don't know what it's called we're just gonna call it the ultimate sandwich the ultimate sandwich and and he's like yeah um we're here my speaking of sandwich did you see my ultimate sandwich i posted on my story the other day oh no i don't think i made this banger ass (laughs) sandwich bro i even posted it on twitter and said man i need a woman who can make a sandwich like this (laughs) um uh, what was I gonna say? Uh, fuck. So they were at a subway shop, and um, and they asked for everything on the sandwich. Damn, that's a nice ass sandwich. Yeah, it's a thick boy too. Dude, that sandwich was <laughs> so good. It was so bomb. Um, but they came in and they asked for this ultimate sandwich with everything on it. So it like had turkey, ham, pepperoni, everything on the bar, everything that oh, on the literally subway line, everything, literally every sauce. Every fruit, every uh, vegetable, every meat, everything, every like, and it was all on um, um, the Italian bread, Italian herbs and cheese. Yeah, the herbs and cheese uh, bread. They came in, and I we were talking to them, and and I was like, "You guys aren't from around here, are you?" They're like, "Motherfucker was just packed." Yeah, yeah, and I wrapped it up, of course, and gave it to them. But I was like. You, are, you guys aren't here, are you? You guys aren't from Houston, are you? They're like, yeah, how can you tell? And I'm like, because you just don't seem... You to order be... this fucking monstrosity. Not That's only, how I know. <laughs> not only that, but they're skinny. Like, they're really skinny. And people in Texas are built, like, buff. And they're yeah. chunky, you know? They're like, you know, they got muscle. But, like, people in L.A. are, like, fucking sticks. And, and, or, <laughs> oh, they either, were from L.A.? They, yeah, they're either sticks or, like, really buff people from L.A. And they were sticks. So I was like, you're not from around here. I know you're not. And you can tell about the way they talk too. Like, that too. They don't say y'all. <laughs> yep. Yep. And then, um, so the guy was talking to me about how his the girl that he's with is going to a tape expo, and they're like giving us their Instagram. And I followed her for like a week, and then I unfollowed because I was like, why am I following this chick? I'm never gonna see her again. And then, yeah, I was just like, what the fuck? But yeah, she was like a model or something. So they were going to this, like, George R. Brown tape expo or some shit. George R. Brown convention. Yeah, it was it was pretty wild. I was like, okay, well, that's nice. <laughs> but yeah, that was my experience. I was just like, okay, cool. <laughs> and we're going to check that one if you off could, the list. If you, could, if you could go back in time and just drop your brain in a past version of yourself... And let that brain have that knowledge you have now, and then let it let him grow mm-hmm. further. Yeah, do you think you would be better off as a, as a human? Say like like my maturity level now is definitely way better yeah. than my fucking when I was uh, like in high school, in middle school, high yeah, school. Middle school. Yeah, I think like, I think middle school me <clears throat> was good. I think middle school me was like one of my top tier me's because what? because. I didn't get any. I didn't get into trouble. I didn't do much. I didn't do much middle school. So like, it would be like that summer. I would drop my brain right in the middle of like middle school transitioning into high school, kind of summer. Because even then, yeah, no, yeah, because I fucked up my my freshman year because I 
because I was in a tennis class when I was supposed to be in baseball. So right right before I became a freshman in high school, I would have dropped my brain right in that like right in the middle of that summer or right at the beginning of that summer at the end of middle school. I think that would be like a an ideal place for me to um, yeah. set my brain in because after all that, I I probably wouldn't have, I probably would have graduated from New Mets. But yeah, yeah, I feel that. Because my parents, what they were going to do is I was going to graduate Nimitz and then we were going to move. And then I started going to college like that. But that's not how it worked out. So whatever. Fucked but, up. Got a blowjob. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's pretty much it. But um, yeah. Got a blowjob. Got could, the fuck out of age. Yeah. And got the fuck out of Dodge. Yeah. And then, um, but yeah, if I could drop my brain anywhere, it'd be that summer. It'd be that summer right there. That'd mm-hmm. be incredible because that was the summer me and you hung up all the time. Yeah. It was literally the summer. It was just me and AJ the yeah. whole time. It was insane. We that were in awesome. skate parts, and I was going to his house, and we were trying to make YouTube videos. It was like a whole thing. <laughs> and then high school hit, and it was just like, all right, well, <laughs> yeah, we got more shit to worry we about. Still, we still hung out quite a bit in high school, but not as much as for the summer. Yeah. It would hang out after school and whatnot. Yeah. We made up with each other, yeah. We hang out on the tennis courts. When coach wasn't there, we'd just chill on the tennis courts. Yep. We'd literally just sit there. <laughs> or we'd go. In, I'd go in the band hall with AJ. And I was, oh, like, yeah. I was the guy that hold the door because practice would end right before you guys came in. And then I just hold the door for the whole band. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's pretty cool. And then eventually I was able to sneak in there and have like fun with y'all. And the fucking band teacher band was, was like. so much fun for me. The band teacher was like, you want to stay? Give me the ball. And I'm like, fuck, okay. I give the ball. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I think like what's one really cool thing? How was banned? Wait, 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 no. Well, how was banned? Yeah, how was banned for you? Like, I don't want to skip that subject. Yeah, banned for me was pretty fun. I had a lot of fun. Uh, like just playing, like just playing music you want to play that is genuinely, just playing music in a large encompassing group of people, or just you and like two others playing on a couple different instruments. Mm-hmm. Like, say it's me. I'm on the sousaphone. I got this dude over here on the snare drum and then i got this dude over here on a trombone or you know some some other brass instrument a trumpet right. trombone tr- okay so like the perfect one okay so a trumpet a trombone or a baritone a sousaphone a snare and a snare drum and if he's there fuck it give us, <laughs> give us a bass drum <laughs> nice yeah that's tobias tobias with the snares was it not Tobias? Tobias, Tobias was one. Yeah, one like, of the snares. J- yeah. Tobias and Jacory, I think, and then yeah, Jacory was on snare too. Yeah, yeah. And you got those guys with the big old fucking ones on their bellies. Boom, 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 boom. boom. <laughs> Bass drums. Dude, the shit, the pep rallies, dude, and Nimitz, fucking lit, dude. Cause you go down the hallway and the band's playing and there's just energy, dude. Yeah, it, it was, was so fun. fucking lit. It was fun, dude. There's so. That's I a, love walking through the hallway and saying. just fucking blasting my fucking tune. Nice. Yeah, see, dude, they hated me. <laughs> so, so, um, that's the thing about Nimitz is that. As as many times as we're like we we go to other high schools, no, there's no culture like Nimitz. There's no like, because we're all there, you know. Yeah. And we've been there for in the Aldine system for a long ass time. And whether you're coming from whatever middle school you are, like you come to Nimitz, and Nimitz is like that melting pot we call the USA. <laughs> what? And just yeah, we're like the melting pot of the world because all the cultures and people mm, and the races yeah. and stuff, so they come here. So, yeah, Nimitz was, like, that for us, and, like, it was just an energy. Like, as shitty as the school was and as shitty as some of the teachers was, you could not get rid of the culture, and it was it was just a great time. All around great time. Ooh, I agree. Yeah. Um, yeah, man, it was playing. I just wish uh, that we could have played so many, so much more. We could have played so many more songs, like... Like Nimitz band was definitely more better and fun for me versus the band that I I went to when I transferred high schools. Yeah. When I transferred high schools and saw what I what I like went to, dude, I was like, what the fuck did I just <laughs> come to? Dude, I was so I I was fucking furious when I moved to that school because I didn't want to move. I was really liking the band over at Nimitz. I. Yeah, that's your family, dude. Yeah. It's your band family. I had I was having such a good time in the Nimitz band. 
even though like the Nimitz man was going through a transition where it, even though it was shit yeah my first year was pretty fun but then like after a while the new director like you know changed and shit nobody liked and then he's like he he like he t- oh, it was just a headache <laughs> to have him there <laughs> yeah i believe it <laughs> yeah and then when I transferred schools and it's all their, the, the amount of songs that they played and mm-hmm. what they did so different. Like, like you guys don't get a new song every week? They're like, no, we get one song for the whole year, the whole season. I'm like, what? What? Yeah, really? so like, for you know how for, um, what was it? The Golden Graces at Nimitz. Okay. Was it the Golden Graces? I have no idea. Are you talking about like... What what I would no call the, the Starboard Starlight. Angels is the Angels yeah I was the I Golden Graces like, were the one at, the one yeah the at your other school yeah, my new school. yeah yeah I was like are you talking about the Starlets because yeah, yeah the yeah, sky yeah. school that I went to are called the Starlets like the dancers yeah, yeah. The, the, the yeah okay so you the know, so you non cheerleaders <laughs> the ones that dress up in tights well anyway and they were yeah. they were known as the Thought Line. <laughs> Nice. Nimitz. <laughs> Great. At Nimitz, it was known as the thought line. Well, I met a anyway. couple of girls, and some of them girls are nice. They're some not all thoughts. Fun. Okay, we're anyway. not going to group all everybody that <clears throat> dresses up in tights and wears fucking these whatever, whatever. lewd clothes. Shut up. Anyway, group. anyway, at Nimitz, every week they got a new song to play for them. Yeah. Every week. So, because there were only games on Friday, so every game there was a new song. Yeah. We practiced that song for the whole week, and then that, eventually that song would just get tossed into our uh, playlist. Stand tunes. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. You're like basically our ma- armada of just songs. Yeah. Yeah. And it was so much fun. Some songs it was like, eh, this one's kind of, yeah, kind of kind of a flop. You yeah. Know? But there were other ones where we're like, bro, that shit was banger. We need to play that shit at the game. Yeah. And it would be really fun. And then the best part about it is that some, some, well, for me, when I was walking down the hallway and like somebody started the drums, I thought they were like making shit up on the way. Like I thought y'all were just making shit up, Mm-mm. and I was like, maybe this, this, like this is just freestyle. But no, but now that you know, did, you know, we didn't that, see, you didn't see anybody looking at any shit. That's music. what I'm saying. I was yeah. like, this, this is a freestyle. Like no. they're doing this by themselves. Like this is incredible. No, you memorize well, that well, shit. That's remember, like we're coming from two different perspectives. Yeah. So you're in the band. You learn the songs. I'm just the guy just walking the hallway that thinking that you guys are yeah, just they freestyling. Yeah, they made us memorize shit in a day. Yeah, I know it was incredible. And when I, like I said, anybody you memorize like, where you so like the. We don't, the sheet of music that they would give you for show tunes, uh-huh. it's like this big. Oh, yeah, I know. And if you're listening, it's about yay big. <laughs> <laughs> it's about the size of a postcard. A little bigger than a postcard. Yeah, I guess. Yeah. yeah. Postcard. And, An index and it, card, sorry. No, 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 postcard. Oh, postcard? Yeah, okay. like a postcard. Okay. Okay. Um, so, so at a certain point in the song, you would... So yeah, like you, see, you know what you know what like a, a stanza looks like yeah in, i know in the song yeah okay anyway so there'd be a point where you'd go uh, and you would stop right here and then uh-huh. repeat all the way uh and then and, you know, and then if circle. they kept doing this at a certain point yeah you're like okay boom and you would never yeah. notice where it is only we know where it's at right but you don't know we're repeating the same fucking yeah the like, tune it just the sounds same fucking, fucking cool. sheet of music yeah like, over and over and then when they like threw the two up in the in the sky, that uh-huh. meant like do the do the second ending oh, and end the song. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. So from me, you know, I'm walking next to the band. It's loud as shit. I'm enjoying it because I can feel the vibrations from all the instruments. I'm, I'm like, this my is my chest I'm, caving in. <laughs> I'm feeling like you know I'm getting pumped and shit with all the music and stuff. And as as, as just a pass by or just somebody walking with the band, because I normally I was with like Gabriel. Or you, because yeah. you guys were like in a group, and I was like, okay, I'm gonna go, you know, that next to my best click. friend, you know. So as a standby, I'm like, they're just doing this by themselves. Like they're just, they're just free, they're just making this up no. by their brains. And I'm like, no. okay, cool. But now that it, like, like now that you're telling me this, I'm like, oh, that's why you guys are so <laughs> fucking good because you guys just remember everything. Yeah. I mean, as expected, but like, like I said, for me, it was like, damn, they're just fucking freestyling. They're getting these guys are fucking amazing, <laughs> you know. No, nah. so. Yeah, yeah, they they, they have memorized that shit. Yeah, memorizing music was really fun. I remember my freshman year, I was so good at my fucking, <clears throat> I was so good at my fucking uh, 
at marching like the the show mm. i was really good at marching the show like i had that shit memorized like week week two or three of band camp and <laughs> shut up <laughs> <laughs> fuck you <laughs> I had that shit memorized, like, the whole fucking song, mm-hmm. which is, like, it, the whole fucking song is, like, it was a three-movement song. Oh, shit. It's as long as fuck. <laughs> yeah, and you're out there in a yeah. fucking suit and a hat, and you're just fucking sweating your balls off. Oh, I didn't off. have the hat on, because I was oh. playing the sousaphone. Oh, that's right. That had that yeah. big-ass bell right Yeah, there. that's right. But, um, yeah, I'd have that shit memorized, and then... Not only do you have to memorize the music, uh-huh. you have to memorize where you're supposed to walk. On oh the yeah, field. yeah, yeah. I know. There's yeah. got like dots that you do or numbers uh, that you, yeah. you have. Yeah, yeah. And, and then we go do actual field practices yeah. at the stadium. Yeah, it's choreography. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You got to memorize where you're supposed to go. Yeah, it's it was really fun. But I was so good at, at everything. I had my my music memorized and I had all my sets memorized. So and I could listen <laughs> to music. And just move along, you know. I'd be like banging, up, banging my head to my own song, and I'll be marching, and I'll, I'll play the music, and then I'll stop, and I'll still. Fuck! <laughs> <laughs> See, that's what you call pro, right there. I mean, you could have probably went. Uh, I know, I know. Like, I think it's like four, maybe three years, five years, three, four or five years that you can become, like, your actual, like, you're considered a pro professional player like my brother i would never consider myself a professional player like my brother he's been doing band since middle school so he's definitely a pro and he's a senior now so yeah he's a senior now yeah what the fuck he's 17 yeah what ruben is 17 yeah he'll graduate no way he'll graduate 17 at like as a 17 year old -old? yeah ruben is and then he'll go he'll go straight into college when he's 18 what the fuck? Yeah. It's insane. That's crazy. It I didn't crazy. know he was 17. I thought he was like 15 or 16. I thought he was a junior. <laughs> yeah. I, mean, I thought he was a junior, but then but then I was like, wait. Wait, didn't we have a conversation about this earlier in the year about him? I think so. But yeah, he's a he's a, he's a senior. <coughs> he's graduating this year. Damn, that's crazy. Which is kind of fucked up because of the coronavirus, but whatever. <laughs> whatever, he got an easy A pretty much. Yeah. He got a free diploma. Right? <laughs> Actually, though. Is yours? And it's from a, a decent school. <laughs> it's from a decent school. Yeah. I fucking... I remember seeing all the people who... All the potheads who would post their fucking diploma on, like, Snapchat or uh-huh. Instagram or something. Like, thank you to such and such high school for my new rolling tray. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> yeah. It's so, so fucked up. up. <laughs> they use their fucking diploma, like you know, it's like nice, really cushioned, yeah, cushion folder thing. Yeah, they're like, thanks for my new rolling tray. <laughs> yeah. No, I have, uh, I have that, and then I have like the big Texas one. I went all out. I was like, look, so my parents weren't prepared for my graduation at all, because like I wanted a graduation photos, like legit graduation photos, and I never got those. It was just like my aunt, oh, I know. and and she's like. You know, she's good at photos. Don't, like, I'm not trying to dog her, but, like, I wish I was, like, you know, at the place that I wanted to be with people that I, you know, that, that, the place, I just wanted to be where the place I, I wish we could have had, now you know, I'm looking back on it, I wish we could have had senior photos together. Yeah, that would have been nice, too. Yeah, that would have been dope. Um, but what was I going to say? I just, I just wish my graduate, my graduation photos were better. And then, I didn't really get to pick out the restaurant that I wanted to go to. My dad already did that, so I was like, well, okay. That's it. And then I was going to have a graduation pool party, but that never happened either. That was my fault. But anyways, I just wish I could kind of redo my graduation. But um, no, so when I when I was like buying stuff for like my diploma and shit, there was this like small one where it's like, you know, just a small little frame and then with like your picture. And then there's a, <coughs> the Texas one where it's like big boy like texas because it's fucking huge and it's got everything on it okay and then you have like of course what they give you the little rolling tray and the fucking (laughs) in there but i have the rolling tray and then i have (laughs) i like how we're referring to it as the rolling tray (laughs) i have the rolling tray and then i i got the big texas one so it's got like the seal the texas seal on it and it's got my little dangly thing in there your dongle (laughs) i don't know what the fuck it's called the the, the little tassel. Ta- the tassel. It's got the tassel in there in my, in my uh, degree. I mean, 
my diploma. In there. <laughs> my degree. My yeah. diploma. Yeah, it's never gonna leave my parents' house. I'm never gonna take it anywhere. I'm not, I look, dude. My parents had bought it, put it in the case. Everything was great, and I literally just dropped it in the corner of my room. I did not care. I I don't know if I ever told you this, but I don't care that I graduated high school. Like it was, it was, not, it was fun and cool, you know. But it was not that big I mean, of a deal for me, in my opinion. Are you gonna Are you gonna like go all out if you when you graduate college? No, no, no. I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna throw my fucking degree on the floor and call it a fucking four years. Hold on, let's see, let's you know? see who this random is. Hello. I'm just getting a phone call. <laughs> they hung up. <laughs> they hung <laughs> up. <laughs> anyway, but um. <laughs> Yeah, so I got my diploma, put it in the case, and I never hung it. I never put it on the wall. I never put, I never put anything on the wall. I never did any of that. So I just got my, I just got the diploma. I put it in my room, and that was it. My dad came into my room one day. He was like, "Why is your diploma on the floor?" And I'm like, "I don't know." And then I was that's like, just "I just a, don't want to hang it up." That's where you're supposed to put it, right? Yeah. yeah. And then he's like, "Aren't you? Are you not excited about?" graduating high school and i'm like yeah i'm gone <laughs> yeah i'm like no i'm like no not really he's like why P- most people don't even graduate high school and i'm like yeah okay i was one of the few that well, graduated i graduated <laughs> i graduated and it doesn't matter anymore because i was once... one of the millions of people a year that yeah. graduate high school yeah and i was like well he's like you should be grateful and i'm like i'm not nobody said i wasn't grateful I just don't care. I don't care. I'm ready to just move on, you know? Yeah. And so, you know, college is here. I'm in college and I'm moving on. Ready to get a fucking job. I can't, like, like it's been, what, two years since we graduated? Yeah. And it's been two years since we graduated, dude. That's insane. That's crazy. We've grown it's so much. It's going to be three soon. It's going to, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to be 22 soon. And I'm going to be 21. Dude, and I'm going to be 22 years old. Oh, we're going to have a drunk podcast. This is going to be fun. Oh, fine. Yeah. Do you actually want to have a drunk podcast? Yeah, that'd podcast? be fun. <laughs> oh, shit. I yeah. feel like it's going to be long as fuck. That is just not... It's just going to be nothing but... <laughs> no. <laughs> it's just going to be as fucking... I'm sure we're going to end up talking about some dumb shit. Yeah. But um, I'd like to have a moderator with us, please, to like press record and shit, because I don't think I'm going to be able to do that. If I do, <laughs> it's going to be really fucking janky. <clears throat> anyway, we'll we'll, we'll set it... We'll, we'll set it up. We'll set it up. Hit record, it would just leave it recording. Oh, and then get drunk. And then get drunk. drunk. Okay, yeah. yeah, that makes more sense. So yeah, we'll do that. Yeah, but anyways, yeah, high school man. I don't give a fuck about it. I don't give a fuck about it. Dude. <laughs> there was so much fucking drama and just a whole bunch of stupid shit that happened in high school. And then I was just like, okay, well, I'm good. <laughs> My senior year was a breeze. Yeah, I didn't do shit. <laughs> I had one double double credit class. Which was the only class I had to worry about, and that was it. Everything else was just basically like this. And I took astronomy, and the teacher didn't know what the fuck she did. Not only that, but she, she left halfway through because she was pregnant. <laughs> so we did nothing in that class. I was just like, okay, well, great. My fucking, <clears throat> my fucking uh, foreign language credit is complete bullshit. <laughs> wow. <laughs> The foreign language teacher I had is he was for French. Uh huh. It's like two years of French. It started at Nimitz and then I transferred high schools in the middle. Mm-hmm. And then I went to a new, I went at my new high school. The teacher I had, his name was Mister DeLove, French dude. DeLove. Yeah, it's French dude. I okay. <clears throat> All right, Mister DeLove. DeLove. Yeah, that was his name. Cool fucking dude. Hey, His like class was completely funny, free just... credit, dude. He would, he, I remember we would walk in there. Uh huh. Shut. He'd shut the door once like class transition was yeah, over. Yeah. Like started. Like, All right, look legit. And he'd Luke go legit. sit down at his fucking <laughs> desk at the front of the classroom and just bullshit grades nice. and just talk to people <laughs> everywhere. We'd have a great time in that fucking class. Yeah. Everybody used that class to just. You know, get um all their homework done. Yeah, all their other like classes yeah. done. Yeah. It was literally all that class was for. They need to have a class like that, where it's in your schedule. It's either at the beginning of the morning, in the middle of the day, or the end of the, or at the end of the day, where you just sit there and you catch up on all your fucking classwork, and that's it. That's all you do. It's called Saturday you're... school. <laughs> Fuck Saturday school. No, <laughs> right? I want it during the week. Like, yeah. okay, I have, like, this opportunity during the week to finish all the work that I need done for last week, whatever late work I need to do for this week, you know, whatever, whatever. Mm-hmm. They should have a class like that. That would be fucking smart. I'm pretty sure we'd have better, like, grades. People. 
Not only that, <laughs> but like people doing their shit. You know, that'd be great. Cause yeah, yeah, but yeah. That cl- that's all that class was used for. Just I, to I had to catch class. up on all your work. I had a class in like every that. other class. My first Spanish class. There was a lady there from California, or or she had just moved to Texas from somewhere, but she moved to California. Is what I meant to say. And bro, she did not like Nimitz kids, dude. I I was like. The kids at Nimitz are fucking rowdy, bro. The kids that we went to school with were rowdy as shit. They did not give two fucks about no teachers there, no matter what. And the, the class that I happened to have was very just out there. And so she was, like, gone. Like, she, they would piss her the fuck off to where, like, she starts screaming. You see the veins out of her fucking neck oh my God. come out. She was that mad. And I was the teacher pet of that class. So she would send me to go do shit. And so when the, the kids were acting up, she's like, Luis, go get the vice principal. I'm like, all right, I'm a dip. And I'm going to take my ass and go, to go get this vice principal because I don't want, you know, I don't want to get in trouble. You bathroom along the way. Yeah, that too. BRB. <laughs> yeah. And so I would go get the vice principal, come back, and then all hell would rain. <laughs> Not only that, but hell would keep raining after the fact. Oh, my God. So um, she eventually quit in <clears throat> California with her new with her husband, and then I got put in a different class because that class just ended up being nothing but movies. And at that time, oh, I nice. was like, "You remember in elementary that, school when all we did was watch fucking uh, the Magic School Bus?" Yes, and dude, that, and I love that. And then, like, like I said, I moved to a different school, and then they ended. I ended up talking to the kids that were still in that class, and they're just watching movies. I was like, "Fuck, I shouldn't have moved." <laughs> Transfer classes, but it was whatever because the, the the other Spanish class that I took wasn't anything either but that was a little bit more fun because it was a little bit more tamed and i was talking to the guys that i had for um engineering class that were in there so that they were pretty chill i'm starting to remember all the good times we had in the dark watching magic school bus <laughs> <laughs> like the teacher would allow us to sit next to each other finally in the yeah. class just to watch magic school bus and it was the biggest mistake <laughs> <laughs> oh no yeah um <laughs> yeah high school not not the best experience not 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 the not the most uh one to remember remember world's experiences they were fun don't get don't get me wrong but yeah. high school's high school all right i think that we are going to go over the I'm lost. <laughs> yeah, I can feel it. Um, let's see here. What's one thing you would like to do with, or what's one thing that you would like to try without the consequences? <laughs> Death. What? I'd like to try dying, without but I won't dying? actually die. Oh. Would that just cause you pain? No. Well, there's that. No, because we don't know what happens after death. I want to find out. And And come back to life? Yeah. You want to try dying and come back to Okay. All right. Sorry. It took me a little little bit of process (laughs) it. I'm like, wait a minute. He's got something Nobody knows what happens after death. Right. Like, what happens? Does everything just go black? Mm -hmm. Like, which I'm pretty sure that is what it is. But, Mm -hmm. I mean, who knows? Yeah. There's been all these death stories, is, like death uh, near death experience stories. Like I, I was talking to Jesus. And yeah. Yada, blah, I think blah, I think whatever. I think what happens when we die is like. It's not a necessarily heaven or hell. It's more like, we we kind of collapse in on ourselves in our consciousness. Does that make sense? So the way we think now, the way we the what we believe ends up being our reality. So like. So, so, okay, so what's one thing that you really want to do? What's one thing I really want to really do? Really want to do, like, despite it being so expensive. Uh, collect cars. Okay, collect cars. So that's in your consciousness is to collect cars, right? I'm going to become a car. Could you? <laughs> so, so when you die, your consciousness will take that idea and that will be your heaven, you know? Mm-hmm. So for me, it would be like streaming and just living out like a, like a streamer's life. Kind of, okay. with like a kids, with like ki- two kids and a wife, that would be like my heaven. But it's like my consciousness just coming in on itself. So it's not necessarily all black. It's just your perfect world. 
you know like your mm. your this body in this timeline it's destroyed so the, so your mind then transfers over to another version of you in the timeline that you wanted or you're sick or like you're a successful streamer or you're a successful car collector or you're a successful businessman or whatever you know it doesn't you don't necessarily die you just go you, you just transfer, transfer consciousness to, yeah you just transfer your consciousness and it would be the it would you just re-upload yourself exactly yeah exactly like <laughs> but that better yeah but you're, worse, in, you're in a you better know? but you're in a better position and it, you know how have you seen Inception? No. Oh, okay. watched well, it. well, then we gotta watch it because it's fucking good. But in Inception, um, they go into people's dreams, right? And uh-huh. then from there, they make them fall asleep again, and then go into another dream to try to access like certain files or certain things that they need access to, like what, like information and whatnot. Okay. And so it would be something like that where um, it's different. It's a string of consciousness. Like so, pick, I don't know because right now. I can see like multiple different versions of me. You know how the mirror like reflects and you see multiple yeah. different versions of oh, me? That's yeah. what I'm seeing right now. Like I see this whole thing, but like there's a long hallway on the corner of my eye. But like what the hell? everything's doing something different. Everybody's doing something different, a different version of me. So I think that oh, once this shit. timeline is destroyed, you, you just... go to the next one and it just you keep hopping. Next. Because there's an infinite amount of choices that you could make. We don't even have... We- I could transfer. I could die right now, get transferred to another body, and we wouldn't even be talking about this topic. But since it's like a dream, where you, when you start dreaming, you're just there. You don't know how you got there, but you're there building a fucking go kart with your ex landlord. <laughs> what the fuck? But you're there, right? Yeah. Yeah. Huh? Have you ever had a dream and just be like, "Why am I here?" No, you're just there. You're doing the task that you are. Like the last dream I told you, I'm driving a car and I got into a car accident. I don't know how I got in the car. I don't know where I'm going. I just was in a car, in a dream. You know, it'd be like that. Yeah, that's like that's like, you speaking of that. That's like the whole like Rick and Morty thing. Like it, possibilities are yeah. literally infinite. Endless. They're en- yeah, they're endless. Endless. Like people could be shaped like microphones. People yeah. could be shaped like trees. Pizza. Yeah, trees. Like, like, yeah, they could be like, sentient. Lord of the Rings could be real. Yeah, like exactly. That could be like an actual historical event that happened. <laughs> that's what the, uh, <laughs> That's what I. That's, that's another thing that I was thinking of. I was like, what if everything we created in movies is actually real? I thought of so that like, shit that, before. That, like, that, that's what if this actually happened? Like, since since we made it, it now exists. Yeah. So like the world of Tron exists. It might not exist where we exist, but it exists out somewhere. Somewhere. So there's somebody... Batman is real. Exactly. Superman, Superman is, is real. real. Yeah. The Flash is the is real. legit. Yeah. Spider Man. All of those people. Everybody that you can think of is just real now that we ex- that 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 we created it. Yeah. Because once we create it, it doesn't ever go away. That concept never fades. That that the uh, that, that Transformers. That, that creation of world is is there now, whether we like Transformers it or not. Transformers are real. Exactly. That'd be so dope if Transformers were real. Dude, that'd be fucking. That'd be so cool. They could save the Earth, because they would. Autobots roll out. If they, if they like, like let's say like all the you know good Transformers came down to Earth, and you know we were like, okay, there's like enough Transformers to give everybody a car, then there would be no more emissions from the cars because they don't run on. They run on like, what was it? Transform? No. uh, Transformium. Energon. Oh yeah, they run on Energon. They would just we would just make a big ass pillar of, with the fucking what is it the uh, all all spark all spark and yeah, just, just go like, with that. That's it. Yeah. Well, I mean, they like have their like it's called their spark. That's like yeah, the, in the middle of their chest. That's their like heart beat mm-hmm. or life source or mm-hmm. whatever. Yeah. Yeah. Be pretty fucking cool. Yeah. I wouldn't have to worry about maintaining my fucking car. <laughs> if I could go through my life without worrying about maintaining my car, I think my life would be pretty fucking good. Like, if I had my own house and paid bill, bills to pay and shit like that, if I could just not have to maintain my own car and health of my own car, I think that would be... <laughs> the health of my own car. Yeah. <laughs> think about it. Like, your car is the most, like, Dude, was... is the worst part of owning <clears throat> anything. Because you have to take care of it. I broke my fucking side view mirror yesterday. The hell? How'd you do that? 
I normally park on this side of the pole versus this side oh, of the pole. Oh, no. So when I backed out of my parking spot that I was Crunch. parked in, I started turning way too early, and then I just banged my fucking side view mirror into the pole. I was like, God damn it. Rip. I thought I was on the other side of the pole. Was, oh, is, it like, work. is it like hanging from your thing, or is it like just bent? Oh, it's fucking shit. It broke the mirror. I already ordered the new oh, one. Okay. It's on the way. But I think I just got it. Like fucking Jimmy rig it for now. <laughs> Put fucking duct tape on it and shit. Yeah, I didn't. I I had to fucking. Uh, I was driving without a mirror to work yesterday. <laughs> Just kind of stressful, but I made it. Good to and from work. Um. <laughs> I don't know. I was it was like to... a question you were gonna ask me earlier before I got away. I was trying to remember it. I can't remember. Oh, rip. Well, I mean, I gotta ask another question. I got a whole well, list here. This is the part where we search for content. <laughs> <laughs> um, Leave all this in. No. <laughs> <clears throat> What's, What's the, the right age to get married, dude? I mean, in your opinion, for you. I mean, I think if you, as long as you're ready, you're ready. That's a dumb question. I don't know. We're gonna ask another question. It's the proper <laughs> drinking age when you can swallow. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> I like how you just got that. <laughs> oh no. Um. <clears throat> Ow. Who would you like to live like for a day? Or would I like to live for a no, day? No, not where. Who? Oh. Who, who would you like to live like for a day? Larry. Living like Larry. <laughs> who the fuck is that? I don't fucking get What it. the fuck? You're a SpongeBob fan. You don't remember that episode? Living like Larry. Larry the Lobster. Oh. They were like, oh, they living were, like, like Larry. They were like trying to be buff, buff and, shit. and shit. Yeah, okay, now I remember. You can't fucking lift up a teddy bear and shit. <laughs> God, your brain is feeble. No, my brain is <laughs> slow. It's feeble. My GPU processor is not... My GPU processor. Not our, and my CPU is just barely turning on right now. I'm pretty sure I said that backwards. I'm pretty sure I said that backwards because the GPU handles games and graphics and the CPU handles, <laughs> handles tasks. Yeah, my fucking cousin last night was telling you, oh, time for an upgrade. Yeah, well, when I turned on Turbo, I didn't know it overclocked my fucking laptop. So I just turned on my fans all the way and turned off the overclock. Mm. So I was like, okay, great. So, yeah. Uh, did you get, like, a small fan and, like, set it no. behind? No. No. That doesn't do anything. I'm better off just leaving it the way it is. Mm. Because if I do anything to my laptop, then it's probably going to get worse. But anyways, um, yeah. No, I'm not going to do that. <laughs> yeah, he, I think he, I, I've seen it work before. I mean... Get a Answer my question. Get a couple. Who would you like to live like for a day? Who would I like to live like for a day? Yes. I would say David Dobrik, but he's not doing shit right now. He's not doing shit. Yeah, but I mean, you're David Dobrik for a day. You can, you know, yeah, you true. go do whatever. Yeah, you're right. But still. <clears throat> What would I like to live like for a day? Mm, I don't know. That's a pretty good question. Yeah, a lot of people are doing crazy stuff these days. Yeah. I, I think um, if I want to be Vladimir Putin for if a day. If, uh, it's, you know? if, if it's not um, David Dobrik, probably uh, what's his name? David Blaine. David Blaine. Uh, yeah, David Blaine would be pretty cool to live live a life like his you just all of a sudden know all these card tricks <laughs> <laughs> you don't know all the magic tricks and the shit. dexterity with your fingers is incredible right and you're just throwing cards and cutting people's faces like what is it now you yeah! see, like now you see me which is i think is a great movie dude do you remember that fucking movie burt wonderstone burt wonderstone sounds familiar uh, i don't remember it though it's a steve carell movie where he played uh he played a magician 
the oh yeah i remember and uh He's got like the sidekick, and they yeah, like, break it was up. hilarious. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they fed a. Dude, they went dude, to a the, poor country, and they gave him a rabbit. And dude, my out fucking a knife. favorite was the sex scene when they were doing magic tricks to to get each other's oh. clothes off. <laughs> <laughs> it was fucking hilarious. Wow. They were like sleight of handing con- different condoms into each other's hands, like use these, like. <laughs> and then he was like, "How about?" No condom. <laughs> and then she like grabbed his hand and like let's use that one. Yeah. And then he's like, uh, here's a thinner one. <laughs> <laughs> and then oh, he yeah. like he like reached behind her back, reached into the shirt from her arm from like the arm sleeve uh-huh. and like ripped the bra out from her arm sleeve. <laughs> Made no sense. It was hilarious. Well, it was supposed to be a funny joke movie because they were making fun of uh, Chris Angel yeah. in that movie with, oh um, God, with, with um, what's his name? With, uh, uh, Jim Carrey. Jim Carrey. Yes. Jim Carrey. Yeah. Well, my favorite scene for him is when they were they were like in this bar. It was like a bar like for magicians. Mm-hmm. Like if you were a magician, you could hang out there yeah, and yeah, whatnot. Yeah. They like the he uh, Jim Carrey like came up to Bert. He was like you're not gonna beat me in blah 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 show or whatever and then he like he like floated away he like rolled his eyes back and like floated away <laughs> <laughs> this show was hilarious oh no Jim Carrey is my favorite actor ever you know what that's how I'd like to live life Jim Carrey Jim for Carrey? a day Jim Carrey is a fucking idol dude yeah he's pretty good he played the he did the green mask too Oh, oh in, the mask. in the mask. That was a yeah. hilarious movie. And then Son of the Mask was pr- fucking dope. Yeah. And for this part of our podcast, AJ will a play musical. guys thank, thank you. you new york good night <laughs> smash <like a> star. <laughs> thank you guys for coming to the or listening to the sunrise meets podcast i've been your host Luis thank Chavez. you coming over to he's been your host i've been something AJ i've been Hernandez. something bro and this has been the sunrise meets podcast